training has been going okay into Europe, so I've been really, really busy with um, kind of a courthouse, working on a film, and um, it's affected my training a little bit, so I haven't probably been able to prep as well as I'd like for, for this show. Um, but I feel pretty big and strong. Um, I've had a not too bad a year so far, and I'm really looking forward to competing. The events, um, I feel, feel confident that I can do pretty well. Um, you know, my goal is definitely to come top three and, and really challenge for, for a top spot. Uh, if the deadlift goes to kind of plan, if I can get kind of back to my best like I was a few years ago, um, then I feel really confident that I can do well in the rest of the show. You know, I can talk about Eddie, I can talk about Thor, you know, Terry, you know, we've got a whole list of great athletes competing this year. Um, but I always try and make sure my goal is, is on what I'm going to aim to do on each event. So it kind of takes out that kind of chance of messing up, if you like, because you're getting pressure from, from the other guys. And I see a lot of people do it sometimes. They kind of worry too much about what someone else does, and then they, they mess up their own performance. My sole focus is on my kind of performance on each event. And if I can come in and perform well, I believe I've got a good chance of, you know, maybe top three definitely, and maybe even, you know, pushing one of the top guys for, for an upset. Piaccio! What? Nice! Two is in case the card corrupts. So you were saying that you've got a lot of things going on. We've seen obviously the talk about the film and stuff like that. How does that affect your training going on uh, it's been really tough to train while, while I've been doing the film. Um, you know, I'm up at four in the morning doing 12, 13 hour days, and then I was trying to get to, to the gym at kind of, you know, half nine, 10 o'clock at night after being, you know, full on in, in, in um, you know, the, the, doing a lot of stunts and things like that, lifting people and kind of going through doors. And, you know, it's, it's been great fun and a great experience. But obviously, that kind of isn't ideal prep for um, one of the biggest shows of the year. Um, so I've only been really training kind of twice a week sometimes, sometimes not even that. Um, so it's not been perfect. The good thing is I had a real good block of training before that and I'm, I'm feeling strong, just maybe not quite as prepared to, uh, as I'd like to be. Um, also, like I said, I've moved house and kind of building furniture and trying to get the stress of that is, you know, it's, it's, it's affected things a little bit. What I'm hoping is that I'm kind of, you know, I'm resting, I'm not overtrained. Um, sometimes you can train too hard coming into a show and sort of underperform for, uh, for those reasons. So I, I'm still confident that I can do well. And like I've said, the, the events really suit me. Um, there's events I can beat anyone in the world at. You know, like I said, frame walk, you know, car walk, there are events I can beat absolutely anyone at um, on my day. So, you know, I'm feeling confident that I'm gonna be up there challenging for the title. I'm really looking forward to competing this year in front of, you know, probably the biggest crowd we've ever competed in front of. Um, in the last kind of three, four years, and the heading here have been fantastic and the crowd's got bigger every year. This is almost going to be like double the size of that and I, I think the kind of confined indoor arena kind of it's gonna be the atmosphere is gonna be amazing. I'm definitely you know looking forward to hopefully being able to raise my game in front of um, so many fans and um, I think all the athletes will be you know we, this is what we kind of train hard all year for is to kind of compete in front of you guys and um, I'm certainly looking forward to it.